Hi guys, as you can tell by the uh, title of this video, this isn't the regular kind of content that I create. Um, yeah, I'm, I was in two minds as to whether I should actually create and post this video, but I kind of thought that it does serve multiple purposes at the same time. The first of which is to explain that why I haven't been around for so long, why I haven't posted any new content, why if you posted a, a comment on a video or sent me an email or posted a message somewhere, why I haven't replied or why it took me a long time to reply. Uh, another reason is to let you know that I haven't given up on the channel, that uh, there's still more to come, loads more to come in 2024, so to stay tuned for that. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up uh, to let YouTube know that I'm back in action, which is another reason for posting this video to get me back in the kind of the video creation mode. Um, so that's, yeah, that's another reason. And really uh, the final reason is as kind of like a, a public health warning or something similar to that, I don't know what to call it, um, to say, to, to, to just tell you my story and say that if you uh, have something similar or if you're a similar profile to me, similar age group, um, then you might want to get yourself checked out and for what exactly will become apparent as I tell you my story. Now, I'm not going to go into huge amounts of detail. This isn't going to be a very long video, um, but um, yeah, here goes. So back in July of last year, 2023, I went to the toilet and found some blood in my uh, which is obviously a warning sign uh, of something that potentially serious. So I went to my doctor who immediately referred me for a uh, colonoscopy. Now, if you don't know what a colonoscopy is, it's where they take this long tube with a camera and a light on it. And I think they have tools inside it as well. And they put it up your backside and they run it all the way through your colon, uh, which is your kind of large intestine, um, just to check it out, just to see if it's in good health, whether anything needs to be looked at, etc. So they did that with me. This was back in um, in July, yeah. So I went for that, and the results were that I had loads of different loads of little polyps, which are little lumps inside on the wall of the the colon, which needed removing, which they can do during the colonoscopy. So that was good. But they also found this um, ugly looking lesion in the right hand corner of my colon. Now they did a biopsy, and it came back negative, which was great. Uh, but they said, we'll check it again in three months. So they put me in for another colonoscopy three months later. This was uh, October. And uh, this time they did another biopsy and this time it came back positive for cancer. Uh, so colon cancer. And unfortunately, due to the position of the, uh, the cancer, the, the tumor, they couldn't actually just remove the tumor itself uh, due to uh, well, technical reasons, but in terms of the blood flow to the to the colon, etc., they couldn't just remove the lump. They had to remove half of my colon. In fact, uh, which, funnily enough, leaves me with a semicolon. Um, that's my just my cancer joke. Um, so anyway, they had to, to to do that. So they the next thing was they sent me for what's called a PET scan, where they inject you with radioactive material, and it goes all around your system and they can tell uh, that it kind of highlights where the cancerous cells are. Luckily for me, it was completely localized. It was quite small, two and a half centimeters, uh, but totally localized. It hadn't spread anywhere else, which was fantastic news. So then it was just a question of going into hospital for the operation to have half of my colon removed, which was a bit daunting. Um, but they said it was like five to seven days, depending on the type of surgery. It could either be keyhole surgery, where they just put three or four holes in your abdomen and they put the tools in through that. Or it could be a laparotomy, which is where they um, open you up, uh, sort of like a zip. <laughs> um, but I, and I'd already had a laparotomy like 20 odd years ago. So they, they, they attempted to do the keyhole surgery. They couldn't do that. So they had to do the laparotomy. Surgery went well. Uh, and everything was going great for a few days and then I got an infection so they had to open me up again and clean everything out antibiotics um, more care etc etc and actually I ended up staying uh, a total of 24 days in hospital which was a bit brutal um, they kind of beat me up 
Um, but the upshot is that I am now completely cancer free. They did tests on stuff on, on um, what do you call it, material around the cancer and it, nothing, it came back negative. So I'm now completely cancer free. I can get on with my life. I'm still a bit sore. I'm still recovering. Uh, it's going to take another few months for me to get back to where I was. But I'm good. I'm in good spirits. And as you can tell, I'm back at work now, uh, ready, raring to go. And as I said, yeah, more content coming up. So yeah, that, that's it. But I mean, the final part of this is really to say if you are kind of, of a similar profile to me, um, a similar age rather, perhaps you have, you have a history of irritable bowels or just anything to do with that kind of uh, the digestive system or the, the abdomen or what have you, if, this, if you've ever had issues with it, it might be worth getting yourself checked out and checking yourself in for a colonoscopy. Now there is a lot of stigma normally around colonoscopies due to the kind of intimate nature of them and you know the procedure itself and where uh, what happens. But absolutely, completely and 100% painless. It's really, really quick. It takes 15 to 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, and, and uh, depending on what they find in there. It's under general anesthetic, so you do not feel a thing at all. They put you to sleep, you wake up in the, the, the waking room or whatever you call it, and you're in there for like an hour, and then you go home again. And you don't feel anything, you don't know that anything ever took place. Um, so it's completely painless, no side effects or anything like that. Perhaps a bit drowsy from the general anesthetic, but I think I went in at 11 o'clock, and came out at 3 p.m. 11 o'clock in the morning and came out at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So, uh, and, you know, went home and just carried on with my life. It really is nothing to worry about at all. So if that's something you're worried about, stopping you from getting yourself checked out, don't worry about it. It really is nothing at all. Okay, well, that's, that's basically my story to explain where I've been. Um, yeah, um, and to, to sort of say, if you do have like symptoms of irritable bowels or anything like that, do get yourself checked out. If you've got any ideas for new content for the channel, anything you'd like to see, perhaps a new project or things like that, do let me know in the comments below. Uh, as I said, do hit the like uh, button, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. This is just to tell YouTube that I'm back again, get the ball rolling in terms of the, the SEO for my channel. Um, and thanks for listening if you've managed to stay till this, uh, till the end. Um, yeah, just to say I'm completely cancer free now, so everything is great. Thanks for listening, and I will see you very soon for another video. Take care. Bye.